Yo, what's up guys, this is Zoom, and I'm, I'm going to be sh doing a, not really a tutorial, but I'm just going to be showing you my render settings, which I personally think are the best for HQ settings, if for Dazzles, or Easy Caps, or whatever, whatever capture card you have, apart from, apart from um, HD PVRs or any HD capture cards, because uh, you need HD settings for them, and I'm doing a HD tutorial. Uh, tutorial, tutorial, um, HD. I'm gonna be doing um, uh, some HD settings. Most probably tomorrow or the day after. I'm not sure, but yeah, they'll be doing. They'll be getting done soon. And to start off with, now you wanna open up your Sony Vegas. Uh, insert your clip and pan crop it to whatever you need. Make make sure my maintain aspect ratio is no crop the black bars out and you're ready to start okay first off you want to click on video effect events go across to sony sharpen add some sharpen okay and just leave it at zero it does it does it does help effect it adds a little bit of sharpening not not much but that's all you really need really to to get straighter edges edges uh, to instead of soft edges um, all right now now to properties there's properties um, these are all you need to do is just copy these out all right so here is width 960 height 540 uh, Build order none. Pixel aspect ratio to one squared. Frame rate 29 970. Pixel format 8 bit. Best. I am not even going to attempt that word, but yeah. Start all new projects with these settings. Um, that's that's all that really matters in the settings. On the properties. All right. So yeah, you got your clip. You wanna. Render. Um, rename. Render. Settings. All right, and here's the H HQ settings. Just copy this down. Uh, audio CBR Windows. Yeah, you don't really need to do audio. It should be the same. Video. CBR, Windows Media Video, Image Size Custom, 960 to 540, 29970, Frames Per Second, 8, Override Default Compression Buffer, 3, and you slide your video smooth up to 100, and that should be it. Oh yeah, project to best. Okay, and now you're ready to render. Uh, if you wanna add some color corrector, you, I don't know. I don't know if it will affect the quality, but I don't usually add color corrector because my clips usually usually look pretty good without them. But yeah, when you after if you wanna just do a test, then put your test as a video response to this video. Uh, this is Zoom. Please subscribe to Tutorial HD. Uh, comment rate on this video. I'm out. Peace.